So you walk in his house. You're immediately just hit by this like aroma that smells like it's somewhere between chicken stock and this kind of like like um, sour, kind of acrid, like slightly uriny smell. <laughs> Were you? Did anybody else live here? Well. Well, my wife lived here for a long time, but, uh... You were married? No. I mean, yes, but <laughs> she's gone. Yeah, were. I don't know. She left. Yeah, no, listen, I... I'm actually not from here. I'm from Amicor. Oh, that's a... That sounds exotic. I've heard all kinds of things about Amicor. Yeah, it's... You know, one could call it exotic. You could. You know? I heard they got all kinds of like interesting nightlife there. Things that, you know, like illicit things. Is it like a dirty place? Yeah, yes, there's some fucking that goes on. Yeah, people fuck. Oh, oh my. Well, I wasn't saying that. I was just. <laughs> wow, that's a. Oh my God. My, I'm sorry. My bad. I think my I bad. Pour I'm sorry. The tea. <laughs> Welcome to Wither and Bloom Studios. My name is Todd, your DM, and we are excited to play the Emberfell campaign tonight. This is going to be session 20. Are you guys ready to play? Session, session 20. 20. Session 20. 20. 20. Big 20. Now, now listen, that's not entirely fair because we've cut the episodes down to like yeah, an hour and 15, yeah. but so we're 20, 20 episodes in. It's kind of kind of awesome. But if Should we the show started with an hour or something, we'd be at like session 30 something. We would. We would. And, so, um, is that counting sessions one through four? We, yeah, nope. we didn't record yeah, so those. Nope. We oh, wow. Right, we just well, ruined anyway, the hype. Yeah, what the we hell? Just ruined We're the 24. Hype. Wah, wah. We're like two double digits. A couple of buzzkills <laughs> over here. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I have to say, I'm, I'm kind we've of proud of the fact that we've mom. gone this far and that the campaign we've is progressing nicely. Yes. I love the storyline. No so, one has officially died. Maybe. Why are we uh, saying that now? What is your problem? <laughs> I knock on wood right now. If Cersei wasn't involved in the last battle, it's true. true. It would have been different. Hey, I've been holding my own. Speaking of the last battle, should we do some recap? Let's do recap it. it. Yes. All Let's right. Recap it. So, um, the party had been sort of laying in wait at the side of the north south trade road for Magistrate Reptar and two guards to come by because they had been given an order by Finch Stone of the Velvet Sky to assassinate him in order to gain entrance into their organization. The party followed suit and actually threw a bit of a ruse with a downed tree and trifon on the ground. They set up a trap, which Magistrate Reptar and the two guards sort of fell into. Gotcha, bitch. And most of last episode was spent just kind of like getting through this battle. Um, the end of which, the bodies were looted, mostly by Remy. And um, several things were found, some interesting things, including a note, or I should say a drawing by a child on the body of one of the guards that said, Daddy, I love you. Um, there was Part about, I don't know, maybe about seven and a half seconds of guilt as Remy <laughs> cast through <laughs> craft, stuffed she a found few a flowers, little more gold. and then just proceeded to leave the drawing behind on the body. But... The good news is the party did cut the tongues out of all three people and are now deciding what to do. <laughs> are we ready to I start? Disappeared with get it, baby. Huh? I disappeared with the bodies. Oh, this is true. So there were two, nor um, two North Veritas guards that approached on horseback to the scene of the downed tree. And at that moment, Branmorn threw himself on the three bodies, apparated into the ring form, and vanished with them. So 
I'm liking this ring. Yeah, a we're cold blooded killers. Yeah. So the party has really oh, changed gears yeah. here. I'm gonna. Is Cersei you're on the other side of the mm-hmm. rock? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna come out from the other side of the rock, take out my new sword, put your hands up. <laughs> oh, hey. 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 No, they walked away. You said they took the, the guard tree. walked away. Yeah, he said that last last time. They, they took the tree and they left. <clears throat> Wait, yeah, the guards, the guards, oh, the guards. Guard. They started oh, heading yeah. back Yo, up. Man. Yep. They went back to North Veritas. They or were to Crooked House. No, they were on the way north. Okay. All right, they turned around. So, check it out. New sword. I That's take a that. Dope it's sword. Nice. What? Yeah. I mean, like, I'm disappointed that. Where were you? Yeah, so they found me in the woods because I in the woods because I like stepped on a branch. Uh huh. And I tried to lie what my, lie my way out of it. Um, Typical. They were gonna arrest me, but then actually the magistrate. Funny story. So the magistrate we just killed was like, "I'm gonna be nice today and let you go." Uh-huh. <laughs> so you don't know um, if you killed the magistrate. Here I am. I just figured because that oh, looks like that's a sword. sword. Okay, I'm not there. So that's a sword. You're not there. Yeah, you're <laughs> you're on my finger right uh, now. Guys, come out. Come out. You're good. Come on out. Mission accomplished. What is that noise? <laughs> it was, was that? through walking out. Did you not shit yourself. Very stealthy. I am going to take a sloshy. second and think to myself yeah. what would happen if he were to come out of his she ring while that's on my body. And I'm going to take the ring off. And I'm just going to sit it like on the ground next to me. Because okay. I don't want it on me. <laughs> so you're all standing on the side of the road, um, figuring out what's going on next. So. Hey, Risky, come out. I'm going to come out of the ring. So you can I, hear you can hear them? Is yeah, that so... Because we double checked last week, because I mean, out of game part of the plan was to bring the bodies into the to the ring. Correct. It is my space. I can bring objects into it, um, and and store the stuff there. It is. Um, I I would have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure it's a 20 square foot space. Okay. You know, it's my like sanctuary. Mm-hmm. It's like, Pillows, blankets, shit that are now covered, covered in, in blood, blood, and blood and rotting bodies. But um, cool. That's fine. So you're on the side of the road. Yeah. Um, and I can hear the environment around me. Okay. So, so you come out, I come out, and the bodies are with you or in the ring. They stay. They stay. I left them. All right. So That's the party's on the side sick. of the road. No, I. S- we're gonna have to clean it up. So. Can you bring us in help you? No. Mission, mission, mission accomplished, guys. Will and you not gloat on the side of the road, maybe? Where do we go? Well, we met with uh, the fellow in North Veritas, so unless we have something else that we want to do to Cricket House. Do you want to take, you wanna take your, your, to your thing up. back? Okay, I, I think Remy wanted to pick up a dress that's supposed to be done today. Mm-hmm. Let's do a quick, you know, I think we stint need to... in North Veritas, and I think we should leave town for a while. I, but I think we should kind of be or business as usual. At least. Well, or we're going to look suspicious if we're not, like, business as usual. No one's worried about it. What do you mean? Like, no. Well, I don't think it's a terrible idea for us to show our faces in North Veritas a little bit. Yeah. Maybe perhaps have Absolutely. some type of an alibi. And go to get... not to go to Crooked House, because then that means we were definitely on the road. Yeah. As you guys are talking, so you see from approaching from the right, coming up the <clears throat> road, this fairly large wooden cart. Um, not huge, and it's also it's small enough that it's being pushed by what appears to be an elderly man. Um, but and it appears to be fairly well made in that it's nicely balanced with two large wheels. Um, the cart is heaped with what appears to be wool, um, just like big puffs of like light sort of tufts of wool sticking up out of this cart. And you see this man, probably in his 70s or 80s, just slowly ambling up the road with this cart. Hey, boss. And he kind of looks at all of you, and he not he kind of looks way up at you. <laughs> He's a shorter man. He's kind of shrunk with age. You going into town? I am. Why don't you let me help you with that? Well, that'd be real nice. I've come all the way from about like nine, ten miles south. I've been on the road Damn. since daybreak. Wow. Yeah, I could use a little a farmer's carry. I need a little workout. Yeah. Sure, that'd be nice. Name's Bellin. Hey, Trifon. Oh, it's a pleasure, Trifon. Um. <coughs> 
That'd be great. You Let guys me get a hold of this. All right, and you got are you guys going to town? I mean I mean yeah, now Trifon apparently is. Yeah, we're going to town. Okay. Remy's got a dress I'm to, dress to pick up. Get a hot date. Okay. So you're only about two miles outside of town, so the, the trip back into town is less than an hour um, at you know a normal pace. And the old man kind of holds you back a little bit, but he seems friendly enough, but he's fairly quiet. Um, any conversation you want to have with him, or are you just going to head back to town and not say a word? Mm. Let's see, uh, I feel like we'd have again? casual conversation. Hmm? Yeah. What was his name again? Bellin. B-E-L-L-A-N. Bellin. Bellin. Uh, what's what's with the wolf? Yeah, yeah I was man. gonna ask. Well, I, I got I got about seventy five head of sheep, and uh, you know, cheering time, I kind of make my deliveries to both North Veritas and you know around the locals, just so you know, I, I sell it privately. Oh, privately. Well, you know, the local farmers, oh. they know I've got yeah. the sheep, so that yeah, sometimes yeah. you know they put in their orders, sometime you know in the in the early spring, and so I know who to deliver oh. to. So I'll make three or four more loads like this over the next week or two. All by yourself? It's a living. It's slow, but I don't mind. It's a nice day. Yeah. You don't got a kid that can come and do the heavy lifting? Oh, uh, my kids are all grown. They went off and did their thing, and you know, I'm all by myself now. I lost my wife about three years ago. Jesus Christ, Christ right. dude. No, it's okay. It's okay. I get on okay. I got my sheep. I got some friends at the Crooked House. I go and see once in a while, so... I'm glad that you're getting on really tonight. You seem happy. Yeah, yeah it's sheep. okay. He's got his It's sheep. a good life. Yeah? It's a good life. I imagine. He reaches out and he grabs your arm and he's like, got soft hands from all that lanolin in the sheep's wool. Yeah, Real I nice. feel it. Nice. He's got a lot of sheep. As he grabs yeah, your arm, you do notice that this guy, for being how old he is, he's like, he's got some... He's got some Stretch. guns, like he's damn. Yeah, dude, he's, there's, there's no way his rip. traps aren't fucking. Jacked, I mean, if dude, he's already so made it nine dirty. miles with this cart this morning, like plus he's shearing an entire herd of sheep. <laughs> That's also gonna do it. It's a lot of work. It's, uh... Hey, no, uh, no, I don't mean the pry. Are you are you part of the the rock lifters? <laughs> Those days are long gone for me, son. <laughs> yeah, but uh. I used to do it way back when. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. I what, believe it. Nice traps. So you know about that. I, I appreciate that. Um, I'm, I'm in. Y yeah? I'm a member, actually. When did you do it? Where did you do it? At Crooked House? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. How actually, high did right you before, lift it? How high did I lift it? Yeah. I got it, like, into my waist area. Not bad. Yeah. Not yeah. Bad. Almost pressed it, but, you know. Well, a few more practices. You we know. used to have a buddy back about 50 years ago. We used to call him the bull. No pun intended. I see that, you know, there might be some <laughs> resemblance there. He could get it over his head. The bull was a legend. Absolute legend. Have... Did he look like me? No, or was no. he a, a guy? He was a, he was a very well-strapped man. Huh. Human guy. I guess I got to outdo him. You got some uh, I'm an actual bull. He's long gone. He's legendary status, but he fell during a fishing accident, whacked uh -huh. his head on a rock, and that did it. That's why I always That's say, go don't out. go fishing. No man. Bad. The rocks find you. Exactly. No one's ever been able to get that rock over the head again. I imagine if they did, you'd be like a historical reference. Tri the, the, no, Trifon hears this in his head, head, and like he just has visions of like like him being this legend. Him, him being the one to finally do it, like this, and he tried to kind of zones out for a second as he's having this incredible vision. You weren't there for the rock lifting. No, I didn't yeah. see that. So the, the lifting of the stones is a local tradition, yeah. and there are several heavy stones around the whole North Veritas region, where oftentimes young boys or young kids will gather and try to lift the stone, but then it's also a coming of age thing. So, you know, like, teenagers, young men, men. Um, occasionally there are some women that come along and if you, I would hope so. Oh, I'm yes. Gonna lift, I wanna try to lift and if you can lift the stone, breaking down. Um, as far as like even just getting it off the ground, you have a certain amount of, you know, gravitas. Now. Where are these stones? Yeah. Oh, they got them all around. There's a, there's a, a conglomeration of these guys in town. At the, in the town? In, in North Veritas, Veritas, yeah. Yeah, I'll take you in. I'll introduce you. Third. Well, down at the Crooked the House is the closest house. one to here. What was that? Ah, well, we're, we're, Crooked we're, House. That's going to be the right. closest one. Now there's another stone 
that they lift over in Haythorn. There's one over there. And uh, I know that there's definitely one down by the fork. Where's the fork? The next time we are at the Crooked House. Uh, Where's the fork? Yeah. That's right. So if you take the north-south trade road down, it's about two, three days travel all the way down to its main intersection of town. It's called the fork. Mm -hmm. They've got a legendary stone there as well. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, thanks for the info, buddy. It's a pleasure to meet another fellow uh, rock guy. Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you too. He kind of claps you on the back, which for his height is like just above the small of your back. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. He's giving you a little slap and tickle. Yeah. A <laughs> slap and tickle. Oh my God. Whoa. He <laughs> said, whoosh, whoosh. God damn. Sorry. So you carry his cart. You move it. You kind of like walk with his cart all the way back to, um, all the way back to North Veritas and bring it into town. Can you do me a favor and roll a perception roll for me? Just me? Mm -hmm. Just you. Mm -hmm. 15. A 15? No modifiers. Can I talk to you in the hallway? Yeah! Oh, whispers! 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 This whisper was brought to you by a 15 on Trifon's part. Did you get a copyright strike courtesy of Nathan? I am not that on tune. <laughs> like, on tune. Uh, uh, I'm so tired. <clears throat> Tonight the music to seems so loud. Eight? I mean, I shouldn't be like this Eight? tired. Yeah. I shouldn't be this tired. Four thirty. I know. Okay. Nice. Wait a minute. Oh, nice. I can still be tired. You should have gotten I'm not in. discrediting your tired. You should have gotten in on the argument. I'm I know. You should have gotten in on this time. Yeah. Oh, really? Rich is like, man, I woke up at like seven something this morning. I'm like, bitch, five fifty. He's like, oh, me trying to just like stand up. My <laughs> I was already early. across the tap and Z by seven o'clock this morning. <laughs> no, I'm just like perpetually exhausted. I'm with you. Oh my god, and I have an interview tomorrow. Uh, on Monday, I was like so completely drained, and Monday I was did, I did nothing really over the week. Did you just get a vaccination or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just shot me up, actually. Steroids. Third time's a charm? Yeah, pretty much. That's a Lifting of the shots? Yeah, of course. Nice. Well played. Okay. So that's that. All right, so you guys make it back into North Veritas. Um, We're back, baby. And so uh, Bellin kind of like gives you that clap on the back, and he's just like, well, Trifon, I can take it from here. Appreciate it. Where can I find you? Uh, if I ever need wool. Well, I can be found, you know, at the uh, Crooked House. I'm usually there on the uh, middle of the week sometimes. I stop in there for a drink, hang out with some of my friends. You don't have like a like a storefront or anything in town? Oh, uh, no, I just deal out of my barn, but Yolmar knows where I live if you ask him. Okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you, friend. And you. So he kind of like bids you all goodbye, and you guys are back in North Veritas. Now. All right, what are we doing? This is like, I want my dress. It's like noon now or so? Yeah, it's probably right. close to noon at this point. Noonish. Noonish. Nooners? I mean, let's go get the Nooners? No. We have Nooder? No. Let's go get her dress. Let's see if it's ready. Nooners? Yeah. Like afternoon delight? Let's go get my dress. A little, little spread, sir? Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. It's five o'clock somewhere. Wait till you see my dress. <laughs> On the floor? Oh, oh my god! Holy shit. <laughs> Was that just said out loud? <laughs> um, so we're going to get the dress, right? We're going to get my dress. We're going to get the dress. Going on a trip in our favorite You're rocket the ship. You're interrupting the trickle. All right, so you're Sorry. going back to, um... You're going back to Gossamer Garments. Is that where you picked that up? Was that with, um, yeah, I believe right. so, right? Um, I think that's where we went. I think so. Okay, so you work your way back across North Veritas to Gossamer Garments. Um, when you walk in the door, the proprietor is uh, there. Um, sees you walk in, he's like, ah, oh, yes. Um, no, I forget, you prepaid for that or you put I half, did half down? I did half, so half I have down. like, it's like one more gold, I think. Yeah, I believe it was two gold. Yeah. 
All right, so um, Zeto, who is the proprietor of the store, um, goes in the back, comes out with this hanger and this really nice, elegantly made, especially for two gold pieces, a really nice piece of craftsmanship. Holds it up in front of you and he's like, should we try it on just to make 100% yeah, sure? I think so. Okay, you spend a little time, you try on the dress, you come out, do you show the party? Or are you yeah, like- Yeah, I'll show the party. All right. I'd flaunt it, to be wow. honest. Wow, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> yes, and it looks good. You know, it's a, you're, you're happy with this piece. Um, Cersei's hiding her redness. The redness <laughs> her face. She's just like, oh, yes, what's up? <laughs> She's a little it's fancy for my taste, but uh, it's for a special suits occasion. You. It suits you, sure. Makes you feel like back home, huh? Mm. All right, so mark yourself out from one gold there. You pay Zato, and um, you have this green dress now that you've acquired, custom made. You wearing it out? Um. I feel like I, don't want to mess I might up. not wear it out. I feel like I would put back on my little like messed up dress mm -hmm. so I can keep it kind of nice. So he can provide you with actually like a cloth covering for it that yeah. the hanger sort of sticks through so you walk out with mm -hmm. a dress that's hung and ready to wear. Fancy. Thank you. Fancy schmancy. Why is there still a heartbeat playing? Now what? Yeah, what are we doing? It's yeah, what do you guys want to do? Seeing me in the dress. <laughs> uh, You're right. <laughs> You're right. Uh, thank you. Who's that guy? Do you want to meet with? Uh, uh, I forgot that was that was on for too long. Job. Are we just gonna... the job? Yeah. Like out, out there? Yeah. He's out there. Like hours. That's the crooked house. Do we have anything to do in town? The one from the um, sky? I mean, we have some... No, 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 he's talking about my thing. Well, I know. Go we have to go ring shopping. My thing. Huh? You have to go ring shopping. Ring shopping? Oh, yeah, you have to return that thing. I want to go meet... What? Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we can't have to go meet Verbana right now. Take care of some... Because we got to do... We got to bring your thing back to you, lady. I know, but we chose to stay in North Veritas <laughs> to, like... To create an alibi. Alibi it up a little bit. That thing has to be delivered south of the Crooked House. If you want an alibi, Moth will do it. Y'all are so loud. Yeah, why are you guys where talking are we about right this? Now? Yeah, in the streets. Yeah, we're in the middle of the streets. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what the fuck is there this are thing? literally hundreds of people That's like in the streets. Yeah. Seriously, it's just paranoid. Yeah, yeah it's, alibi? it's fairly crowded. Some money back. Money back for what? You just like to fight. Yes. How about we don't right. fight? Because you're saying, like in a little. I'm saying an alibi. Up. I know the guys at the stallion. Okay, but we'll I say we've been there all day. Right, but I don't know if you need to fight. If they're just gonna say that we're gonna be there all day, they're just gonna say. It. Well, if we're gonna be there all day, then I'd like to fight. You better have what some battles cards. What are we supposed to do? Uh -huh. with... I'm just gonna be like, he's got some. I got enough. I'm gonna like kind of like take what my shirt down task? like this, and I have the arrow the holes. To kill them? <laughs> I, know, I, died. I know the task. What was the after the task? <laughs> What I do we do? Remember, if there yeah, was anything these after arrows. the test. Yeah. I just remember, I was focused on the, killing the guy that was going to. Are kill you me. looking for what you were, like... what Finch wanted you to do after the fact? Yes. Yeah. I can tell you. What also happened with the ladies, the sexy mm. assassin ladies? Oh, they're still in the gutters. Ah. <laughs> and we're just not going to do their job. I don't know. Their job was to kill. Uh, I know. But she's not dead. Finchstone did not give you a specific time and date to meet him. I, uh, it was basically just understood that if you did it and went to your normal haunts, he would track you down. He said that he had uh, eyes uh, on you. I, I had that. Uh... No, never mind. There's probably a bird in the sky watching our every but, move. Uh, let's be mind. honest. Have we heard anything about what's going on with Lady Darwish? You know, guys, we gotta. You haven't really looked. You haven't investigated. You haven't really asked around. You guys want to do that? You want to go see what's going on? See if she's all well, right. I mean, come see on. If she pulled like, through. We gotta, you know, take out the garbage. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. You know? How about okay? I, I think we need to lay low just for a little. How about bit. in the sewers? Yeah, that's a great fucking spot. <clears throat> What about that thing that the the that mashy thing? Except I'm so curious if the fucking Randy is still alive. Before no. the extending planks, yeah, there for was that Is anybody listening to us? Talk? Roll perception roll for me. I like that. What what's going on? 
Okay. Dude, it was a you 19. Just thinking about the and it got cocked. Places to trash the spot. So now it's a three. It's a one. No, it's mm -hmm. a one. Nice. You don't notice anybody. Oh, disposal. Yeah. Oh, well. And then you drew, just okay, rolled a 15. I just rolled a 19. You guys want Or, you know, my you only... bring it to, um, I don't know, maybe an active volcano and throw it in. Do you know of an active volcano? No, I was just making a general okay. reference. Um, <laughs> what do you guys my only worry about going back down to the sewers is... We didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we should go down oh, there. To talk to the, the lady people. gang. Yeah, and we, then didn't, we didn't do what they wanted. That's fine. They uh, make uh, it. We were just thinking about the cleaning your ring. Yeah, but they yeah. make it a little suspicious. You want to see if there's any jobs on the notice board? Or we could talk to someone locally about uh, what's been happening with Lady Darwich because we haven't really been seeing her so long. I like that. I like that. Who do we know that doesn't necessarily care for her in North Veritas? Dick man. Dick man. Dicky the Whippet? Yeah. Well, Dicky he whips it. Jeez. Whip it Dicky. Dick whips. Dick it real good. We could we could talk to Dicky. <laughs> Dick. Maybe Dicky's got a job for us. We did bring Let's go bring talk back. to Dick Man. <laughs> Let's talk to the Dick Man. <laughs> now you don't really you have don't an exact pinned down location for Dickie the Whippet. You do know that he hangs out at the toenail occasionally, that he does have a presence in North Veritas, but um, there's not like one location you can go looking okay. for him. So you could attempt to find him. Hey guys, you want to go to the toenail? Let's go to the toenail. Let's go On to the, the way to the toenail, can I check the notice board, see if there's anything about Lady Darwich, any like, hey, or like anything going on? Absolutely. Um, and the notice board is actually not far from Gossamer Garments because you're kind of in that centrally located area. So you take a few minutes to work your way over towards that board. And um, there's nothing necessarily pertaining to Lady Darwich on the board. Are there things back on the board now? Because there were lots of things that were closed Things down are still closed board. off on the board mostly, so it's been covered over with this larger sign that basically says that, you know, it talks about the curfew at night and that the town is on a more heightened security due to the issue that happened down near Crooked House until well, further notice, it says. Mm, okay. Interesting. So, Nothing else? not that you can see, so, you know, you don't really find anything okay. there. So back to the toenail you go. Toenail. To the toenail. To the toenail. Are you all going in the toenail? <laughs> Let's see. Um, I mean, I oh, I'm going in. I I'll still go. go. You can't. I'll hang out outside. <laughs> I still have this, and I'm going to reach in my bag. <laughs> Can I kind of look in the window? And wait, wait, wait. I'm going to reach in my bag, and I'm going to pull out the little piece of paper that I had ripped off the bulletin board, like, weeks ago from the little old lady that just wanted somebody to hang out with her and she'd pay. Are you telling <laughs> and I'm me? gonna give you the slip of paper. <laughs> I don't think he's the one to go hang Wait out with old lady. I kind of like this. It might be a beautiful story. Like Harold and Mug. Are you good with them for, for a little bit? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll go hang out with the old lady. Okay. That's okay. funny. <laughs> I forgot I had that paper. Thank you. If you give me half a second, I'm going to pull that notice Sorry, off the notice board up. Sorry, I forgot about that piece of paper. I also forgot about it. Clearly not for very long. You can back up. With I've had it for things. weeks in my bag. Oh, just sitting there. It's great. Right. Yeah. Um, it's actually not a lady. It's a little old man. His oh, name. I thought it was a little lady. So on the listing, it says, uh, can someone keep me company? I'm a lonely widower and have been longing for someone to visit weekly. Light chat, tea, and snacks two to three times per week. This is a great alibi. I would like someone oh. who is reliable. Missing time slots makes me sad. <laughs> Applicants should be friendly, talkative, and like to listen to stories. That's a couple this times is, a week. Uh, one Once silver week. piece per hour, two to three times per week. Uh, Durker Hombop, 22 Mercer Street in the Grange District. <laughs> Durker Hombop? Uh, Hombop, H-O-M-B-U-P. All right, I'm going to go visit him. But, like, missed time slots make him sad. Mm. I need an alibi. <laughs> we are a bunch of degenerates. <laughs> All right, so the party goes into the toenail, and Trifon heads off to look for Mercer Street. 
Okay. I can't believe I named. Wait a minute. Why the fuck did I name it Mercer Street? Yeah. Why? Can I back that up and like edit that out? No. No, it no, happened. That's, that's there. Yeah, he's canon. <laughs> to be fair, I think I remember why I called it Mercer Street. I was thinking of Princeton, New Jersey. Yeah, sure you were. Mercer you as say. you were as you were listening to Critical Role. Fuck. <laughs> 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 no, I mean Matt Mercer is great. It's okay. It's I just right. didn't name it after Matt Mercer. That just sounds so bad. It w you know, I don't hey, think anybody would have cared if you didn't say Street anything. I knew about Mercer Street in Princeton, New Jersey, long before I knew about Matt Mercer. So agreed. I am with you on that. Agreed. Anybody All right. Anybody who's ever had a um, piece of LP from because you turn off of S Mercer Street onto South Two Lane to go to, go to Princeton, Princeton Record, Record Exchange. Exchange, the best fucking, <gasps> fucking record, record store, store of all time. Well, not anymore. Sorry, Princeton Record Exchange, but you have been outdone by Revilla Grooves and Gear in Milltown. That is the best fucking shop. My boy, oh, Darren. Oh, my God, Darren's been. And B in the house. Yo, bro. Mm -hmm. We should just mm -hmm. wear shirts. I think we should send this to him. Absolutely. Best fucking record shop ever. I know. Ever. I love how Got we're just giving away our location. Marita's Cantina and shit. Okay, so what? We're not, we're not in New Jersey. We just no. know about things in New Jersey. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're like... We stalk Kevin because Smith. who the fuck no, is excited no. about New, Jer she. New Jersey except for some New Jersey dwellers? It's a big mm. state full of many gardens. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I guess we should get back to the game because clearly Brand's getting annoyed at us. All right, moving on. If you shake it more than three times, you're playing yourself. It's fine. It's a bit like closure, like, what's this All right, so um. You guys head into the toenail. Bunt sees you walk in. He gives you a less than enthusiastic kind of like wave. What's up, Bunt? How are you, Bunt? He kind of nods a little bit. He seems a little reserved yeah, this evening. Does he have another cat yet? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just observing. You guys killed his cat less than two days ago. Was that only two days ago? It wasn't two. All of us? Um, <clears throat> I didn't kill um, the cat. I didn't kill the cat either. Does he take notice? I'm not there. You were by association. But I didn't um, kill the cat. It was your mouse. No, I, didn't, the, well, I didn't do it. Uh, Alright, let's not have this argument, please. Can you guys have this argument right in front of him? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Continuing onward. Okay, so you grab a table. What's the plan? Um, I'm just gonna walk up to the bar being like, please tell me you have something at least 120 proof. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bunts kind of like considers for a few moments and he's like not this time of year, but Sir, I usually get a clock. I usually get a pretty hefty batch later Can we in just the summertime. Do some, so, do you have some wine? Of course I have wine. Oh, can I just have two glasses of wine? So nice. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So he uh gets a couple glasses of wine for you as well. Uh, I'd I'll give take you the glasses. Starts <laughs> pulling you a mead, two meads. <laughs> Same as the the lady over here. Gotcha. Get you all served up. Seats you at a table. Um, you're settling in. You Where seem dicky you? lately. Bunce kind of turns dicky. and he's like, not today. I might be in in a little while. Mm, okay. It's possible. Um, dicky. How's, uh, how's, it, how's it been? Well, it's been all right. It's... Uh, you know, it's a little bit slow lately with, the, you know, curfew on and everything. So things yeah. have slowed down a little bit. Um, I have somebody coming in three days to look at the window. And as he says the window, you look over and he's got a whole bunch of planks nailed over the spot that are, you know, broken. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, how, how, are, how are you doing? Overall, I'm all right. I'm holding up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Good. Thank yeah, you. I care. Well, I appreciate that. Um, well, I've got a few customers I've got to take care of. Is there anything else I can get you? Let me know. And he kind of scurries off across the room. Is Poppy in the bar? Poppy is in the bar. She spotted you when you came in. Yeah, it's through. Are you sitting down? Yes. I said nothing. I'm going to like crawl into the booth and just put my head on your lap. Okay. Seriously, it's exhausting. Your seat's eepy. Eepy. Where do you think? Do, 
Mm. But I'm not from around here. We've established they, that. Do they like? Really? Where would you go to find a cat? Not on the street, Cersei. You tried to find one on the street. Uh, whatever. It was a bit Griselda. Uh, perhaps um, we could talk to one of the rescues? other. Animal rescues? Is that a thing? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. That's where I was getting at. Is yeah, like, there like, is there like a pet store? It's gotta be a pet store. Is there like a pet store? Is there like a, you know, shelter? Where's our Pomelo? There has to be. Um, you would have the Pomelo with you. Okay. You bought the Pomelo <laughs> yeah. in a small cage. Yeah. Okay. Now you're starting to get a little bit burdened because you've got a dress, you've got a Pomelo, yeah. <laughs> you're starting to get a little yeah. bit taxed. Um, Bran, I would say there's definitely something along those lines. <laughs> Um, you yeah, haven't seen one yet. Pomelo. He's gonna eat him. Everybody eats pomelo. It's very tasty this time of year. He's gonna I'm eat him. I'm gonna have personal fighting words with you if you eat that pomelo. Words are fine. I will pomelo fight you. is delicious. She has fight you. knows how to cook the pomelo. Stop! I don't want. I the wonder if there's any pomelo on on the rest. On the While I'm the seat. <laughs> Laying down, I'm gonna reach onto the table, so sort of like slap around, find the wine bottle, and then just like. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Wow, okay. Okay. All right, so um, <laughs> I think we need to hang out a little bit, see if Dicky comes in. I think good. Um, should we get the meal? I don't know if there's any shelters. Sure. Sure. You want to ask? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to ask him. Ask no. Yeah, I don't want to ask him. Okay. Okay. Don't cue him in. Yeah. You might then expect something. <laughs> so you what s- if we can't deliver? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you settle in. You get a meal. Um, don't forget, you have three tongues on you. Um, no. Poppy Button yeah. delivers Two your tongues. food. Two tongues? I ate the other one. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. You're a little less hungry. <laughs> You're not there. The poppy Button delivers your meals, and you're sitting there having a meal. Um, the place has maybe eight to twelve other occupants in it right now, um, sitting in various locations around the restaurant. Um, and it's within the hour that the door opens up. Here we go. And Dickie the Whippet does Dick walk in. Dick. Predictable. I gave myself a rather high DC on that. I've rolled three natural 20s tonight. Showster. Yeah. So... Maybe we should switch that if we get Damn. into some combat. No, yeah, I'm absolutely this die. This die in combat is my is my nemesis, <laughs> and in situations where it seems like all these weird opportunistic things happen for you, it's like my enemy. So I don't know. I can't win with this it, yeah. die. Keep it. Hey, Dicky! He sees you and he comes walking he over. Him. He so. wouldn't recognize me. Um, oh, that's true. Yeah, I've but he colors. definitely sees the rest of you sitting there. <laughs> And he kind of comes Mr. over Whippet? and he. Mr. Whippet! Mr. Whippet, Mr. Whippet. Whippet. Whippet real good. Whippet oh my god, do you know what song I just got into my head? Oh, baby. Mr. Wendell, what was it? The song by. Uh, I, I'm gonna slaughter this, so let's just keep going. Okay. <laughs> cool. Never mind. Uh, we'll reconvene later in yeah. the 80s yeah. world. Yeah. He comes over, kind of sees that you that all, and he's like, Yeah, so, uh, what are you guys up to? Uh, we've been around, uh, drinking, in and out of town. Is that all you do is drink? I see every time I come in yep. here, you're sitting in here drinking. Yep. We like to get anything done. We get things done. done. We get things done in the morning. We got your mom done. And then we, we relax. <laughs> Dude, you are laying down on my lap. And? She said we got these muscles. You, uh, <laughs> you're lucky you look really nice or I'd have to like, you know. Thanks, Take a little more offense to these I, things you um, say to me. Taken. Dicky. <laughs> what's the general mood around town? Is uh, are things settling down a little bit around the fence? No, things are tense. This this attack that happened. You it's know, it's made this. everybody. People are still upset about that. Well, look, things get a little hot for a while after we have one of these. You know, it's like it happens. We've had like three in the past. And you, you would probably know this, that these attacks happen, but there's like three directly in and around North Veritas in the last year. So, you know, you got, everybody's on edge. 
you know, they set these curfews in place. It's a pain in the ass for me because I can't even get around like I used to. I used to move around the city a lot at night, but now there's nobody. How about the sewers? The sewers? You can go through the sewers. Well, yeah, you could, but my God, you stink when you come up. No, yeah, no. yeah we know. Yeah, we know. It's not exactly mean. my jam, if you know what I mean. No. So, uh... What oh, are you, are you doing, doing here? Wait, what? What are you doing here? Popping in for a little evening meal, gonna oh. settle in. Everything go okay with the, uh, the ring? The merchandise? Hey, very well, thank you very much. And I, uh, I managed to sell it off to my client. I made a decent, I had to kind of cut my price a little bit for the inconvenience of time, but I figured better late than never. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna necessarily make you split that with me, so, you know, you're welcome. Much appreciated. Well, if they were really waiting for it, and then time is, you know, not the most relevant thing, it's the importance of the fact that they have it. Yeah, sure. So, um, kind of sees Bunce over there and kind of nods. He's like, usual. And so, uh... Oh, hey, uh, Dickie. Do you, do you know where they might have, um, like an animal shelter around here? An animal shelter? Yeah, just keep it down. Because you know they're cacti. Oh, yeah, you know, I, uh, I, where's your boy with the horns? Yeah, we didn't keep healthy cat. Yeah, no, I heard they, it's a, you know, that's kind of spread around a little bit. Yeah, 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 we know, we know, we, we just want to. The fuck is wrong with that guy? I, he's, he's, I also went to prison. He's got the hair trigger. <laughs> huh? He's, he's a little sensitive, he's a little reactive. Is that, is that yeah, you beat the shit instinct. out of a guard. Within like 24 hours, I killed a cat and beat up a guard. I come in here. Two guards. I come in here to get my dinner last night, and I look, and you know, I sit <laughs> down, psychopath. and I said to Poppy, I'm ordering my meal, and I was like, you know, hey, where's Mulberry? All of a sudden, she gets all these tears well up <laughs> in her eyes, and she starts like sobbing on oh me, God. and I'm like, I, I, so I don't want the fucking halfling so sobbing all over me like this. Get another cat. Yeah. Oh, I get your plan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a joint over, uh, up towards the north gate, I'm trying to remember where it is. There's some place called like the Pack. I think it's called the Pack. The Pack. The Pack. Yeah, they uh, they got animals that they sell there. Mostly like, I think it's all dogs, but they might have they might have an in on something. You might be able to buy there. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Sure. Sure. A few minutes later, uh, Bunce comes over, drops a nice big ale down in front of Dicky the Whippet, and he kind of nods. He's like, "I'll have you meal in a second for you." So, um, he's like, so, uh, you guys looking, uh, you working? You, you got any jobs? What are you doing? Kind of, I don't know, kind of a little bit in between. I mean, there's always a few things on the plate, and uh, there are Which we're consideration. figuring out. Hmm? Which we're figuring out, but. Yeah, but if there is something that uh, you might need assistance with. Perhaps we can uh, strike up something and... The job board's a little dry. Yes, it yeah. seems like there's Absolutely. not much going on there and... Uh, I mean, big guy went to go hang out with an old man. Jeez. One of our jobs Money. involves the Thanes, but I don't think it will be very possible for us to... The Thanes? Hmm. What the fuck are you doing for the Thanes? We're not doing anything for the Thanes. More okay, to the so, uh... To the Thanes? <laughs> Oh, this ought to be interesting. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it right now because maybe I uh, maybe you want to cut me in. <laughs> oh really? What you got going? What's the payout? It's uh, <laughs> it's actually nothing. More of a prestige <laughs> thing than it is a <laughs> coin thing. So this is like an exposure job. You know, you do the job, and all of a sudden everybody will want you to do the job. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it involves. Which one exactly? Um, the popular one. The, the one with the... <laughs> oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what are you, what are you, what are you out of your fucking minds? They, they, I mean, come on. They built like a steel wall around Of her. course, that's why I was asking you about it. But I uh, kind of figured that was part of the problem. Well, you know, so you, we're letting that cool down. What do you got to get intel out of her? What do you want to like, you know, smack her on the rear end? What are you, what are you doing? Well, you know. I mean, we could smack our ass and call her Shirley before yeah. we do whatever we're going to do, but... Uh, What's the job? Come on, I yeah, what do you, really you don't trust me? What? 
<laughs> What's, What's the job? job? Uh, you know, it just. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. are you. Where do you fall on that leg, huh? Look, I'll do anything for the right price. I figured it would be involved right. in profit. But. <laughs> but really? Yes. And you're not getting any kind of payment for this? We are. Um, yeah. We are. It was a thousand gold. Oh, yes. Mm. A thousand gold. A thousand gold. All right. That's a good number, but my God. It's a little low for that, but it was more about, uh, you know, allegiances. Wait a minute. There's five of you. That's 200 gold pieces a piece. I know. It's not very much. No, it's not very much. I don't like to do math. Plus, if you count me in. This motherfucker longer to get more to get out of jail. I'm not. No, that's right. The horn guy. And once you count me in, it's only going to be a hundred gold pieces a piece. Well, uh, how's that math? It's not more. How it works. <laughs> 166. No, not right now. I'm sorry. I get the I'm feeling you're sharper me. than any of them. Yeah, probably. Well, like I said, it's, things are a little hot around that subject right now, so maybe not the best time to uh, to perhaps embark on that endeavor. You may have something else. Look, I'm. I'm just going to say this, okay? I'm a good judge of character. I'm also a good judge of an opponent, okay? So I know who to mess with and who not to mess with. (laughs) Continue. We've collectively oh, lost okay. our minds. You and I are not going in the right direction. <laughs> all right, so listen. Here's what I'm going to say to this, all right? That woman, first of all, she's an easy target. If she's alone, standing out in the middle of a field with no one around yes, her. Yes, I understand, but she's but you're not going to Look, you're not going to get anywhere near her. You're going to die, all right? Well, it would have to be something a lot more calculated, and uh, I know that right now is not the good time. Probably not. So, like I said, back burner that for a moment, and maybe something will come to us. We'll have an epiphany, how you say. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Well, I can offer you something, mm. if you're interested. Mm-hmm. There's an associate of mine named Carver Vosen. Huh. Now, I'm going to put this out there to you right now. I told you that I am a good judge of an opponent. Okay? This guy is not a chump. Okay? He's not a chump. You don't cross him. I think you learned your lesson maybe with me. Returning my ring to me was... Um, rather noteworthy so I got something I need to deliver to him down in Cory okay now the town of Cory is about three days four days away depending on how fast you move if you deliver it to him so here's what we're gonna do okay you are gonna pay me for the package and then when you get there he's gonna pay you and you're gonna get the overage on that package I figure I'm going to take a slight hit on what I could normally make by delivering this myself because, frankly, I can't be on the road right now given the situation with detention, okay? I'm typically one of the usual suspects in most investigations. So if they see me heading south, they're going to wonder why I'm getting out of Dodge. And I frankly don't need the heat right now. I got small business I can run here, make a little coin till things calm down. However... You guys could help me out with this. True, that's true. Right? All right. Yeah. Now. Is this package dangerous? No. Okay. But it is of an arcane nature. And look, I'm going to tell you right now. If the package disappears for whatever reason, (laughs) I don't think I need to tell you. This is a lot more valuable 
I mean, it's not a lot Why more value. Why would you expect that of us? <laughs> I don't know, Throod. I mean, like I said before, uh, it was not us that took that thing that was yours, and uh, we did bring it back to you. So Fair enough. Don't go making... Fair enough. But the good news about this transaction is simple, okay? You don't have to return to me to let me know that it was done, right? You're going to buy it from me, and you're going to resell it to Carver, Vosin, and Corey. This sounds very, expensive. Very simple. <coughs> okay? Yeah. How, much How do we know that he's actually going to buy it? I've already arranged that transaction, and you have my word that that will happen. Okay, but if he doesn't, what happens? If he, why wouldn't he? I don't know. What's the bottom line? How much do we have to pay? 250 gold. Jesus. He'll be buying it off of you for 450 gold. Oh, that's good. it. 250 gold? That's not bad. You stand the profit 200 gold pieces for a trip to Corey. Not bad, if you ask me. Hey, we got to... You're not there. I'm not there. I'm not there. True. I mean, Fuck you. do we have 42 gold between the rest of you? I have a little yeah. bit. I have 34. Luke Goblin probably has some. I, have I will Goblin. put up my 208. I have words of 50. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> all right, so you, you all come up with the 50. Mm -hmm. I'll put the 200 up. Right, I can I'll, put some down. I'll bid Fucking 25. Bank of 20. 20. I'll give 25. How much do we need? That left uh, princess with we five. Need, we need 50. I mean, I can do more than five. Fine, I'll give 20. <sighs> Alright. You're giving 10? <laughs> I would give more, but everybody's distributing. I was like, no, oh, I was she's not. distributing. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> I guess you are, apparently. You're making a face like you are. <laughs> I'm not here. What do you want to contribute, Remy? You can do 25. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Jesus Christ, can we just split up the gold? Shake please? her down. All right, I'm just. Says I'm putting up 200. I'm gold. throwing 20 in the middle. Okay, great. I put in 20, so Remy gets away with 10. 10. Remy buys food today. Fine. And supplies some of it. Sure. I've only got 8 dollars <laughs> gold left. <laughs> One down to 10. All right. <laughs> You're broke. So we slide 250 over to Dicky. Dicky kind of like fingers through the pile of gold. Takes it, puts it in a pouch, ties it up, reaches over beside him, and he's got a fairly large sack that he kind of keeps slung over his shoulder. I don't want to see his sack. He opens it up. Speak for yourself. And he pulls out a, a wooden box that's about five inches, maybe six inches by six inches, and it's only about an inch and a half high. It's hinged <laughs> on the back, um, and it's latched on the front. He slides it across the table to you. It's a nice chode box you have. It's <laughs> 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 the town of Cory. Basically heads south on the north-south trade road. All right? It's about four days travel. There are several stopping points along the way. Um, in Cory, you're going to be looking for Carver Vosen. Okay? Um, ask around at a couple of the establishments. Carver's a... He's a fairly likable, you know, charismatic guy who uh, most people seem to like in the town. He might be able to hook you up with something once you get down there. Now, Corey is sort of on the sort of northern edge of the Sylvan Vale Forest. It's right where the farmland ends. You're kind of at the three-way point between the mountains of Ironhold, the Sylvan Vale Forest, and the rest of the southern end of the farmlands of the North Veritas region. You'll know it when you see it. The contents of that box need to make it to Carver Vosen. Okay? You did not just buy that off me. Okay? 
Part of the deal here is that he is the recipient of that package, okay? This isn't like you made the purchase and you can decide whether or not it goes to him. If it does not arrive to him, I'm gonna find out and he's gonna be unhappy. I think I'm a fairly likable guy with a relatively soft side. The fact that you're all still alive after having my ring for so long is proof of that. I think we get along quite well. Carver Vosset, on the other hand, well, let's just say he didn't get that first name because he's a gentle guy. Okay? Damn. This is a is beautiful, hot. blossoming relationship. I think so, too. Is there a time limit? Look, I'm not going to put it, you know, I'm not going to hold you to the grindstone here, but, uh, you know, could it, could you get it down there in the next 10 days? No, I think that's yeah, possible. I think that's, that's totally yeah, possible. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying if a day it, or two off. If no one else objects, I, I will take the box. Yeah. I mean, Carver is oh. like, he understands <laughs> the heat is on up here, so he's he's patient for now. He's patient for now. Three takes the box. Okay. Am let's I blowing this old guy? What's going on? Let's move over to Stryphon. <laughs> wow. Oh, really? You want to play it like that? No, okay, you finally no. find 22 Mercer Street, knock on the door, and a few die? minutes later, you hear the shuffle of feet, no. and the door opens up, and there's this hunched over little man there, and he kind of looks at you. I'm going to try like, to look as like gentle as possible. <laughs> and he the says, serrated Well, hi. What's your name? Trifon. Trifon. Trifon Pantelis. Trifon Pant... Pants? Pants. Trifon like Pants. Trifon of the Pants? Yeah, Trifon Pantelis. Pantelis. Yeah. Root for of the Pants. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. You're smart. Smart guy. What can I do for you, Trifon of the Pants? Well, I... <laughs> well, I got the... I got, a. Uh, Oh my God! I'm, you, I, I took your accent. <laughs> um, this 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 notice on the board. Oh yeah, my message on the board. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm here. I'm you know, I'm, yes. I'm here to keep you some company if you need company. You know. Well, well, the last guy this, well, didn't last very long at all. He said I made him really uncomfortable. <laughs> You, do you do that a lot? Do you, why? How, why? Like well, I don't do it on purpose. But um, would you like some tea? I'm okay right now, but I'll yeah. come in and keep you company if you want. Well, that sounds great. I pay a silver piece an hour. Is that okay? Yeah, you don't do any more? My oh. God, how tall What's are wrong you? With you? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm pretty tall. I'm like eight feet tall. <laughs> well, why don't we see how the relationship works out? Maybe I'll give you a raise. Go, go play with the old guy. Friend, you know, it's like Stop. a working relationship. Okay, all right. You know what I mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. Can I do an inside check on that? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be mean to uh, him. He's trying to get some he's type just, of raise. He's just an old a nine. guy. <laughs> Seems pretty straightforward. All right. What do you want to do? You want to, you got games? Well, um, <laughs> no, I'm not really much into games, but if you come on in, I'll tell you stories. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming I'm, in. Yeah, let's go. All right. What so does he you, look like? What's that? What does he look like? So he's he's just got like extensive wrinkles. Like he's just like you know <laughs> so he's wrinkly. he's old. He looks like he's probably you know you you can't even tell how old this guy is. Jesus Christ! So um he has a he has a big old cane like with a real large like root ball top and he kind of like walks along with this thing. Um, but he kind of like has like his whole back is like at a 90 degree angle. And he kind of like, he kind of like looks up. Like he's constantly looking like up at you like this. So he's just kind of like, you know, he's got a smile. He nods a lot. You, right? your, na your name fits you. How so? Humbap. Humbup. Humbap. Hum, humbup. Hum, humbup. Humbap. How about the tea? Go in, go in. Yeah, all right. I'll take some tea. So you walk in his house, you're immediately just hit by this like aroma that smells like it's somewhere between chicken stock and this kind of like, like um, sour, kind of acrid, like slightly uriny smell. Were you, did anybody else live here? 
Well, well, my wife lived here for a long time, but uh. You were married. No, I mean yes, but <laughs> she's gone. Yeah, were. I don't know. She left. Stop. She died. He's got dementia. All right. Stop I'm not talking there. to me. I'm not there. Um, he I'm kind of heads over and he puts a big kettle on the. He's got like a big old stove there and he reaches in and he grabs a poker and he starts stoking some coals in there. He gets some bellows out, puts the kettle on there and gets that thing going. He's like, You said tea, right? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, thanks. So he gets out a couple cups. He's scooping into the dry tea and he's putting it in the cups. And, it's incredible. And he's like, so what brings you to the North Veritas recently? <laughs> uh, I just want to, do I locate the piss smell like as I move closer <laughs> to this area? There is I... not a single location for the smell. It just is the overall aroma Sick. of the, awesome. of the uh, apartment. Are the cats here? Are they pissing on shit? You don't see any cats. I'm about to throw them through the window. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably a good thing he doesn't have any cats. Yeah, no, listen, I, I'm i actually not from here. I'm from Amagora. Oh, that's a that sounds exotic. I've heard all kinds of things about Amagora. Yeah, it's, you know, one could call it exotic. You could, you know. I heard they got all kinds of, like, interesting nightlife there. Things that, you know, like illicit things. Is it like a dirty place? Yeah. Yes, there's, there's some fucking that goes on. Yeah, people fuck. Oh, oh my! Well, I wasn't saying that. I was just. Oh my God. Wow, that's a. Oh my God. My, I'm sorry. My bad. I think my I bad. better I'm pour sorry. the tea. Hang on, I gotta pour the tea. <laughs> so he starts pouring out some tea. And You're making a, a wonderful first impression. There's that's a awesome. nice floral aroma that comes out of it. You can tell he kind of keeps looking at you over his shoulder now. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it's a nice place. They got a lot of different, uh, like, species, you know. You ever seen a Galapa? Uh, yeah, I have, actually. You have? Here in North Veritas once. Really? Yeah, many years ago. Oh, wow, they're interesting guys. They got big shells. They do. You know? Yeah, this one was a little boy, though. Huh? Yeah. He was young. I don't like the way he said, yeah. <laughs> He takes the cup that he's just poured the tea into and he tries to put it on a saucer you, and the whole thing is going click, 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 and he kind of like hands it to you and the, the tea is spilling over the top of the cup <laughs> Like burns bit. me? Thanks. And he's just like, oh, oops, so I hope you like that. It's a little bit on the floor. It's going to roofie you. Well, how would you know this boy? Oh, I didn't know him. He, he came around. He was going door to door selling something fundraiser for some veteran of the war thing. So I gave him. Jesus Christ, this is the most boring fucking thing. So as he's talking, I'm going to look around like in, I'm pretending to listen. I'm going to look around and see if there's any place I can toss this fucking soup or whatever the fuck you just gave it's me. Tea. tea. No, don't do that. It's a cup of tea. Yeah, is there any place I can like dump it? You were the worst person for this. No. <laughs> You're hurting my feelings. This guy literally raped kids, all right? That's, that's how I'm going. You don't know that. You don't know that. Try and expect the worst, right? You're going to make me cry. Can you stop being so mad at him? Is there, is there a place I could dump this tea? Not really, not, you know, like, because he's in the kitchen. You're kind of standing in the entry to the kitchen. So if you, you could pour directly on the floor. But no, I mean, is there any place that, like, I could pour it? Like, is there a plant? There are no plants in this man's house. Can you just be nice to the poor old guy? Anyway, he gestures into the living room. He's like, come on, we'll go. We'll, we'll sit for a spell. Um, I'll just take a seat. Yeah. Um... So, do you like what kind of stories do you like? Interesting. Why, why don't you uh, why don't you tell me about your wife? Oh, I don't like. I'm, I'm not sure I want to talk about her. Sorry. Uh, let's see. I'll I'll give you some choices. Um, okay. I could either tell you a story about. Uh, hmm. Well, I could tell you a story about like back when I was a boy, and how. The city's changed a lot since I was a boy, but we used to do some fun things like play games and stuff in the city with my friends. Um, I could tell you like a legendary story, like yeah, something do like it. Town that sounds lore. good. Tell me the legendary one. Mm. <laughs> sounds like a good one. 
Well, there's a barroom favorite that everybody likes about Vale and Chamber Bride. You, did you ever hear the story of Vale and Chamber Bride? That's a classic. Yeah, I think I've heard that one. Have you? Well, that's a good one. Get his, get his, yeah, get tell his me the story, though. Tell me. I want to hear it. Well, well it's, a, yeah, it's a classic. So Vale and Chamber Bride was a young girl who was part of a noble family. And she had a best friend when they were young. Her name was Catherine Darwich, and they used to play together. And one day, Valen Chamber Bride and Catherine Darwich were playing knights. Oh, they wow. Were fighting with swords. That's dangerous. Yes. And Valen Chamber Bride, well, let's just say that Valen was much more sort of coordinated and, and sort of um, dexterous kind girl and the play got a little bit serious and well Valen poked out Catherine's eye. No way. Yes. That's crazy. Said it came right out on the end of her stick like like a little bit of like like a kebab. Like a little jelly bean. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Can I smell this tea? Yeah. I feel trapped. Can you feel trapped? I feel like I can't get rid of it. Can I smell it? See sure. if I want to drink it? It actually smells fine. It smells like a floral, like herbal tea. All right, I'm gonna kind of like take my long ass tongue and just kind of like dip it in as I'm like <laughs> I have eye contact with him. So you're lolling your tongue into the hot tea, Jesus. and um, kind of like stir it a little bit with my tongue. What is wrong with you? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> you don't got that tongue. So you uh, don't got that tongue. <laughs> Durker continues the yeah. story. Is this well, now that just sort of really disfigured Catherine Darwich quite a bit, and her parents, who had like great expectations for her, sort of, you know, they were of course angry at the chamber bride, the state, and the family. Mm. But Catherine harbored great resentment because she grew up now wondering if she'd ever like, you know, live a normal life. She wondered if she'd ever find a man because yeah, because she looks like a freak. She had a hole in her head for crying out loud. Yeah, that'll you know? do it. You know, and Valen was genuinely upset about the whole thing, but. You know, she tried to stay friends with Catherine, but it just, you know, didn't work out. So, eventually they fell apart, and Valen went her way, and Catherine went hers, and, you know, Valen met a nice boy, and they started, you know, kind of hanging around together. And meanwhile, Catherine just brooded. Anyway, one day, wow. Catherine looks out across the grounds, out near the edge of the garden. And she sees Valen Chamber Bride's dog running in the yard. And she thinks, well, shit, here's a way that I could get some revenge because Valen loved that dog. Mm. Right? I want to pet that dog. <laughs> so Catherine goes to both of her, her house guards. She hurts And she animal. says, that goddamn dog. <laughs> That damn dog Void is out there, and I see it foaming at the mouth. I think you should kill it because it sounds like it might be dangerous. And so sure enough, one of the guards goes up onto one of the turret towers on the edge of the thing. One arrow, right through the dog's neck. Well, here's neck. the thing. I think that like sometimes, you know, people mis misunderstand things. And sometimes animals come off dangerous, and you get put them down. You don't mean to, and you just... <laughs> You kind of just kill it, and He's you didn't. Breaking. You didn't mean to do it, you He's know. Breaking. Like the cat just kind of jumped and hit the mouse, but, but you you got so angry, and you don't even know if you're angry about that. You think you were angry about something that happened like 20 <laughs> minutes ago, but yeah. then you just you, you you come to, and there's a cat that went through a window, and now, uh, it's in, <laughs> it's in pieces. You know, it, it's kind of the same. You know, what I mean, sometimes you know. Trapping. And he kind of reaches out and puts a hand on your knee. <laughs> on my knee! Trapping you. I feel like this is very personal for you somehow. Are you, are you okay? <clears throat> Can I make a con check? Why would what? you make a con check? For a boner? Boner check? <laughs> Oh my God! A wood I want to make a con check. Could you oh, not? Just... Could you just like control yourself? <laughs> They're what over there God? dying this whole time. I say one thing and I get called you out. You said the thing. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> not one thing. The thing. The thing. I'm Trifin sorry. has been through a lot. I don't know if he's gonna explode or not. 
With this, with like you know, like emotion. Um, <laughs> explode with his bone. Make a wisdom check. I don't think it's a common <coughs> check. I got a uh, eleven. You feel a surge of emotion actually come across you because you you know you're kind of been fighting back and forth with this mm-hmm. thing. You know, I, I don't know, man. It's just been like really tough lately, and I. I got really bad news, and I, 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 you know, it's like you're doing something, right? And the the thing you're you're supposed to be doing isn't isn't trying to help you do it, and they're just making your life as difficult as possible so you can't do it. And then the, the person that told you to do it, you know, isn't isn't there, and you know, it's. I kind of suck at my job, and it's it's. Uh, I killed a cat. Um, oh, I, you know, and like, I got a really bad letter, and like, I'm fucking worried. He you starts know? rubbing your knee. He's like, Trifon, it's Thanks. okay. I feel like you really like well, you. You've had a very <laughs> rough time. And I and I have to say I feel good that you've opened up to me. It shows that you trust, and that's a really good first step. Why don't you drink some of that tea? It'll make you feel better. I'm gonna I'm gonna down it. Okay. <laughs> you know you know, hum humba. <laughs> you can call me Durker. All right, Dirk. Uh, er, Durker. 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 You know I I don't want to talk about emotions. I you know sometimes yeah you know I. The other day, this funny thing happened. Uh, I I punched this guard in the face, and oh. it, it made a funny noise, you know. Oh. And, like, uh, and then I went to jail. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like so funny. What, you're a criminal? No. Oh. No. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why did you punch him in the face? Well, you know. Do you do things? What kinds of things? Do you like go out and do things? Do you talk to anybody? I get out once in a while, sure. Uh, yeah, no, I had to get, I had to talk to a friend that was in prison. He, he really missed me. Yeah, I had some news to tell him, and I had to get in there. So I had to do what I do to get in there, you know, oh, for a friend. I see. It must be a very important friendship for you. The most important. Well, I have to say, Trifon, and this is nice. I, I, it's been a long time now. I had one other person who responded to this ad, but then they left so quickly. I do hope that, you know, we could tell each other more stories. That'd be really nice. What was the name of the last person that was here? Maybe I know them. Oh, gosh, I don't remember. Let me try and think of his name now. Uh, I think it was Seth. Seth sounds, yes, Seth. Seth? Yeah, it had like a lot of like, sounded like I was slurring my speech. Seth. 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 Whatever. Okay. Colin. All right. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know if Seth, a Seth, but. Um... Well, where are you staying anyway in Northbury? Do you live here now? You said you're from Air McCor. Do you live here? Yes. Yeah, sometimes I stay at the uh, stay at the Mallard. Oh, that's fancy. Sometimes I stay at the Crooked House Inn. You know. I heard there was some trouble down there last couple days. Like uh, something happened to Catherine Darwich. Is that really? right? Really? You serious? Well, they said somebody tried to kill her. No way. Yeah, you She did. can't catch a break. Somebody takes her eye, now he's trying to kill her. It's crazy. A lot of people don't like her very much. Well, you ever been to the Stallion? <laughs> do, honey, do I look like I go to the Stallion? I don't, you know, you might. I don't know how you, how you enjoy you spending your time. You like violence? <laughs> well, let's just say, let's just say that's not exactly my cup of tea, Trifon. I'm not exactly a big fan of, of fat. All right, it's not the stallion, but I think, I think maybe you might be the exact person I could talk to about this. You ever gotten into wood carving? 
Bitch. Well, it's funny you should mention that because I did a long no time ago. No fucking way. I absolutely did. That's fucking badass. Not so we give him like one of those. He kind of hit him and he kind of like almost falls <laughs> off the chair. <laughs> My bad, my bad. Right after my wife left, I took up some, I tried different crafts to kind of keep myself busy. Let me, can I see? Oh, uh, sure. I got a couple of, uh, let me see if I can find them. And he gets up and kind of disappears out through a door in the back of the place. He can carve some wood after his wife died. And oh my God. He comes back in. And he's holding these two smaller, like little figurines, actually. And they're wow. fairly nicely carved. Like they look really quite beautiful. And he kind of gives it, he's like, well, these are two of the later ones I did. And he hands them to you. Um, it's fucking gorgeous. And they look to be like, almost as if they're like dwarvish in nature. Like the figures themselves, they kind of like, they're like stout bearded. They're wearing like what appears to be like a kind of a overall uh, on the, on their clothing. Who are they? Oh, these folks are, uh, these are a couple of the men that uh, used to work not far from here and they'd stop by and we'd chat. I'd sit on the front stoop and I'd see them from time to time in the street. And so I once decided, well, I need some subjects for my carving, so I'll just kind of maybe see what I could do with them. I got the greatest fucking idea ever. Okay. You're going to carve me, and then I'm going to carve you. Well, I think that sounds nice. Yikes. I also think that sounds nice. Well, maybe I've got some old wood laying around that I could actually use for this. I might be able to find my tools. When can you come back? I can come back, I think, maybe by the end of the week. Okay. How's that sound? That sounds good. What do you do for like a living? Like, what do you, where are you, what do you do? I'm just a, a guy that goes around helping people. How do you make any money? I'm really strong. Oh, I see. You know, like I, this guy. I so the violence? Do you use violence? Well, sometimes I'll go to the stallion and knock a dude's teeth down his throat. And you make but money doing friendly, that? Friendly, you know what I mean? Like we we hug afterwards, you know. Wow. Kiss a little. Yeah. All right, well. It's not too bad. So you guys finish up. He kind of like asks you when you'd return. What would you say to him? I said by the end of the week. Oh, did you say by the end of the yeah. week? Okay. Well, I like the hours between two and four. After four, I start to get like a little bit sleepy. So okay. I'll see if I can find some tools and maybe you and I can sit and learn, learn a thing or two. Hey, that'd be pretty tight. Okay. Okay. Well, let me get your payment. And well, thanks, kinda, man. Kind of goes, and there's it. a there's a small bowl on the counter in the kitchen, and he kind of like reaches in and he grabs <clears throat> two silver pieces, and he comes out and kind of and here you go, Trif, and I hope the extra silver piece helps you kind of like deal with your troubles a little oh. bit. You're a very kind guy. I'm sorry. I thought you were a pedophile. What? <laughs> <laughs> Say that to oh, him. I'm gonna he give. I'm so gonna give him a hug. What he was so nice. I'm gonna give him a hug. Well, he so nice give him a hug. <laughs> he kind of leans into it a little bit, and then he's like, "But I don't want to squeeze. I just want to like give him like a, you know, like one of those big yeah. hugs." You know, <laughs> Be careful, squeeze. you might break me. All right, well, you uh, get along good, and I'll see you uh, by Friday. Damn. Good. Have a good day. He was nothing you but too. nice to you. I All was right. nothing but nice to him. <laughs> okay, so um, you head back Dirk over. Is so <laughs> Isn't he fucking sauced? Dude? <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's so suspicious, dude. He's, he's got like, a little me. Yeah, a, a boy. I yeah. Was for a fucking mean, yeah, dude. Cool. Me Robin. What do you mean, yeah, oh, a boy. Oh, man. oh, that was funny, man. Okay, you head back over <laughs> towards the toenail, which you're guess hanging out outside as i like get there i'm gonna kind of like look in the window and like knock a little bit <laughs> remy just kind of waves back yeah. at you <laughs> oh okay trifon's outside great oh. hey. to come in tiki the whip it's sitting there and he goes oh look a pussy crush is here Oh yeah. my god! There are so many meanings <laughs> to that. Damn. 
I'm sorry. Life in Fox did and you, Murders. Did you say Pussy Crusher? Maybe in. Yeah, the I heard it in some song somewhere, but. Um, <laughs> They've written songs already? <laughs> no, the song's not about him. I just heard those words and then I saw They've him. They've written and I songs already? <laughs> thought about poor Mulberry and then that just came out. You know, sometimes I say things like that, but. Yeah. Uh, I right. think um, he wants you to go. Someone going to get dinner. I'll go and uh, talk to the, the bull. Okay. I think Remy's picking up the tabs tonight. Yeah, goes I'll out. pay for dinner. Through. What? How was your what time? I th- you know, I, I met dinner? I met a, 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 a someone I thought was a pedophile. Is not a pedophile. It turned out to be a really nice guy, and he carves wood, and his wife died, and he met the guy named. Sissa. N- N- and like you see like hives on his face, like his big. N- <laughs> what? Are you at- are you okay? No, I, I'm good. I had I tea. Don't... I had tea. It was uh, it was good tea. Uh, the house also s- kind of smelled like piss. Did, did you? Uh, Guys, get he was emotional? crying. How much was dinner? I got. Uh, uh, there was four of you with drinks. Um, uh, I am. Um... <laughs> Two I'm, gold, two I'm silver. I'm glad that uh, maybe you worked through some things. Sorry. I think With so. With your Sorry, new friend? Um, maybe. Maybe. He's this a cool guy. You know? Is. He's kind of he's kind of formed like a like a snail. Have you ever seen a snail where they just kind of like curl in like that? Mm-hmm. That's what he looks like. But he's not, he's not a snail. He's a hunched back, perhaps? Yeah, and it's just like a, a big sack of like... Uh, it's like a walking ball sack. With a with a with a you know like a nice stick to walk on, you know what I mean? A ball sack and a stick. <laughs> okay. We're, what the hell is happening? Is he we'll just leave that at that, that, okay? He's a cool guy though. I'm gonna see him at the end of the week. All right. Well, Dickie has a little bit of a thing for us. What's he got? It's a delivery job a couple of days away oh, in Cory. Okay. But. I also have some interesting other observations. I'm gonna lean in. He, uh, Dickie said that there's a place that we could potentially go get uh, another cat. Maybe. Uh, it's pretty normal for sometimes people to mistake animals as dangerous, you know? I understand that's that. That's not but the uh, point that's being made. Perhaps. Uh, I, listen, I'm not judging your knee-jerk reaction uh, and the way that you reacted very quickly. Uh, it was a heightened situation with uh, Verbena. Mm-hmm. Maybe we go and get another cat. I think we should go and get another cat. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go and get yeah. another cat. Let's go. Is the rest of the party coming along? Or, you guys or outside anywhere? Good animals here. Um, I could probably be the best to get the animal. Personally, I'm a little squashed. Um, I think I need yeah. to get the animal. No. I guess I would You just need to out. deliver the animal. Yeah, so I we'll get the, animal, get the animal. And then we meet you outside. And you carry animal to him. So let's, um... Uh, let's go to the pack. Let's go to the pack. I mean, is it too late in the day for the pack, maybe? Uh, no, you're still in the uh, sort of mid-afternoon time let's, frame. Let's, let's make a jaunt over to the, uh, the, north, the north gate. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, so you head north in town, um, ask a few questions, and are eventually directed to this smaller operation on a very sort of narrow side street in North Veritas. It's quiet, it's a little darker. Um, and from inside the building, you can actually hear dogs barking. Um, mm. So it has kind of the, the feel of a place that's got something housed there. Uh, you grab a hold of the doorknob, and as you open it up, it opens into sort of like a foyer. And then there's another door inside of there. So you yeah. all kind of gather in the foyer, and then you go to grab the second door, and it appears to be locked. But yeah. just as you're grabbing that door, you look up, and there's this uh, proprietor in there, and he's just like, he kind of waves a hand. And you see him grab a hold of these two large, you know, like very husky dogs, and he kind of pushes them into two caged areas, and then he yeah. comes scurrying over the door, and he kind of unlocks the door and lets yeah. you in. Um, and you guys are in there, he's like, Howdy, what can I get you? Uh, we, need a, we, need, we need a cat. A cat? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've yeah. got a few cats. Uh, yeah. 
Can I see them? Can I see them? Sure. Sure. Yeah, come in. Come in. Come in. Out. Come in. Make sure you shut the door behind you. Yeah. The place is just booming <laughs> with the barks of dogs. Um, the place. He's probably got fifteen or sixteen dogs in this place. Where Jesus are they being Christ. kept? And they're all in these like kennel Great. cages. Um, so you know they're they're sort of all about the place. They yeah. look like the the cages are all sort of portable. So um, takes you towards the back. And there are some smaller cages in the back, and he has three cats oh in there. Okay. He's like, what are you looking for exactly? Like, do you have a preference? I don't have any kittens. As we're, no, as just we're a back cat. there, do no. any of them speak to me? No, they wouldn't speak to the you. cats? No, like, sorry, like, emotionally. Oh, emotionally do they speak I'm to you. I'm looking for one a little personable. Why don't you both roll animal handling checks for me? Scary. Wow! I never roll... 18. A 24. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I have That's no modifiers. Die. That was a good die. What the fuck? Did you roll? I rolled a 19 plus 5. Nice. Okay. So, cat number one, um, which is an orange and white uh, sort of tom cat. Um, not exactly the best groomed cat in the world. Looks like he might have been picked up on the street. But he kind of sees you and kind of pushes his head against the oh. bars of the thing and as you sort of put your finger in the he leans into it a little bit <clears throat> cat number two wants no part of anyone in this place cat number two looks like it is eternally pissed um it's kind of like got this guttural like, kind of you know just like emanating from every pore in its body and it's pinned against the back corner of this cage um the second one it is very slender um, and is black and white with a couple of nice markings on it, almost like a almost like a Holstein cow. Um, and the face has more angular features rather than the round, poofy kind of long-haired cats that you typically slaughter on a day-to-day -day basis. Don't look at me when you say that. Jesus. This one. Don't look at me. Slaughter. Damn. That's Sorry. the second one. That's You're not with Durker anymore. No, this is um, the third that he didn't finish. So um, this one, though, appears to kind of like gravitate towards you. So this one sees you, it comes up, and it kind of like bumps its head against the front of the cage, and then These continues to nice bump its cats. head. And it's, you can hear it's purring. Mm -hmm. It's a little hard to hear over the din of the noise of the dogs, mm -hmm. and this guttural kind of center cat that's kind of like. Mm. You like that guy? I like this one. It's a nice one. I kind of like this one. You, uh, you think you might be interested? Uh, you live in town? Yeah. Yeah, a we bit. live in town. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, and you, uh, you just want one? <coughs> you want to, I'll give you a discount if you take all three of them. I want the uh, second one. Oh my god. How much would all three of them be? Uh, for all three cats, I, I'll let them go for three silver pieces total. It's done. That's done. That's done. I think this guy. I think he he wants to come home with me. I think. Uh, I'm literally can, shoving three can, silver pieces in his hand. Oh, oh my no. god! No. What do we think? <laughs> do we think he could handle more than one cat? Well, well. I think, you want one physically? I think, that, I think I want this one, for me. And I'm gonna kind of hold it. I don't know if Trifon can handle a cat. I want the mean Let's one. See. I'm just. I need this. It's been a couple of days. I need this. Cats. All right, I'm gonna put this out there. You physically can't carry another thing. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> you are literally <laughs> fucking. I'm, you're I'm like giving a, it you're to like Trifon. You're like a Sherpa. Give me I'm the giving pangolin. myself. Yeah, I'm giving. No. The, the palapa. No. Give me the palapa. The no. pangolin. <laughs> the <laughs> pangolin. <laughs> no. I'll take that. No, I'm gonna give, give that, that to Cersei. Yeah. I'll give you my dress. Okay, so Cersei's taking the pissed off cat. I want the pissed off. But I think, I, think I think we need to let him pick out of these three. We will take all three there. He picks the pissed off one. No. This guy in the shop looks in the cage that you got. And he's like, "Oh, you got a rain pomelo." Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. I'll trade you that for one of the cats. Are you gonna eat it? <laughs> Am I gonna eat it? Yeah. The hell else you do with it? Inside. Oh no, nope, <laughs> never mind. Oh my god, uh, that was so out of pocket. No, that's I my already... point exactly. Right? Are you yeah, considering this? Nope. Nope. 
No, nope, I already okay. handed you three no. silver. You're not getting the pomelo. That's like having a cherry pie and you put a leash on it because you think it's cuter <laughs> than it tastes. Yep. And. What do you say? You want to trade for the kitty? No. Rain Pomelo for the kitty? Paid. Nope. We no. already paid. We already paid. Does this yet orange one have a name? Uh, no, that one Dude, doesn't. Shit. One in the middle I call Trash Can, but other than that, they don't have names. <laughs> I love Trash Can. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to think we're about it. Them. I'm going to think about it. We'll take them. Well, I got some papers for you to sign just so that I can tell, you know, the North Veritas, uh, Animal Animal Rats Guild that they were sold properly. So can I just get you to fill out some things? Yeah. yeah. All right. So he hands you kind of a, a slate of some paperwork, and you take your time filling yeah. it out, which is you all good. Do you need help with your signature, honey? No, I'm good. Honey? I, I'm... Why are you freaking out? No, I'm not. Do you, do you... No, I'm okay. So you fill out this paperwork, and you have now acquired. I'm giving all fake information. There's no way I'm letting North Veritas know that I just bought a cat. Okay. What do you write down? I'm writing uh, John Pindle Pop. John Pindle Pop? Okay. From? From Crookshanks. From Crookshanks. You could have just said like... Perfect cat. <laughs> yeah, you weren't there. There we are again. That's that's like <laughs> I know. I, I know. Yeah. All right, you fill out these you fill out this paperwork. And uh this guy kind of looks at and he's like, "All right there, uh Mr. Pindlepop. Um and who else you you you're taking trash can?" Yeah. Seriously. Kind of hand Cersei yeah. hands you information. You fill that out. All right, you guys take care of all yeah. of this stuff. And eventually, you are ready to leave the premises, and um, we go you're back. Gonna, you're gonna to go the back now, okay? And we're gonna stand outside for a second. And say, how are we gonna do this? I think we should hire a band. Oh my god! To play through their window. We just need to go give him one of the cats. Yeah, I say. Can we give him the the black one, the one you got? I think that's a good one for him. I'm gonna go hand it to him. So are you giving me the orange cat? Yeah, you want to hold him for a second? He's a sweet guy. Or a girl, I haven't looked just... down there yet. Oh my god. Um, so I'm holding the cat. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kind of slowly open the door of the toenail. Oh my god, he's I'm gonna step through in. the window. Yeah, we're all standing outside close, like this. Close the, the door behind me. And just kind of look to see if I see him. You sort of push the door open and begin to put one horn through. <laughs> And then as the door opens a little bit more, you're able to swing your head in. And as you kind of look in, Bunce is over at the bar and he's, you know, putting some glasses away. He doesn't quite see you at first. And you step in and you shut the door. Boom. Boom. And for a moment, the silence in the room is sort of comes up and everybody kind of looks and Bunce lifts his head. And he slams the mug down on the bar. I'm not going to make eye contact with him. And he starts coming over to you, like, in his quick little halfling walk. And he's like, no, 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 no. Gonna, we've talked about this already, and I'm I told you. I'm going to slow walk up to him. I'm going to pet the cat. And he sees it kind of against your chest. I'm going to give it a kiss. I don't really know how to do that, so it's kind of just like... <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I hand it to him. Roll a persuasion hey. check for me. This isn't gonna go well. Yikes. 12? Yikes. He's really angry still. Like, he's, he's really upset. But as you approach and you have the cat and you give the cat the kiss and you kind of hand it over to him, <laughs> You know, you're you're not exactly the best handler of um, of creatures, so the cat looks a little uncomfortable, and so Bunce reaches out and he just kind of like, and if nothing else, out of an attempt to save the cat from crushing it or dropping it or maybe hurling it through the window that's not there anymore. I got um, it by like the scruff of its neck. Yeah, and he kind of like takes it from you, <laughs> and this thing immediately nuzzles into him, Aww. and he kind of like puts a hand on it. And you know, you can see him, he kind of like pushes his face into it and he looks at you and he kind of just, he gives a little <laughs> nod like this and 
He says thanks. And he turns around and walks into And I'm gonna turn around and walk out. Okay. I think that's where we're gonna end tonight. Word. <gasps> Reparations. We're we're starting. Starting. Reparations. Even though we're cold blood killers. Yeah, you I mean. killed a cat and made up for it, and then you killed some kid's father. And <laughs> maybe we'll make up for that next I time. I didn't kill that one. Okay. Oh my God! Semantics over here. All right, everybody. Our music is provided by Pocket Bard. Please, please leave a like and follow. We would love that, and we will definitely see you next time. We love playing D and D, and we love the fact that you guys are watching. So we will see you next week. Drop us a line. Take care.